Not only a very beautiful environment here, but it's also a very quiet environment. At his home in the rainforest along Canada's Pacific coast, Glenn McPherson researches something that science says shouldn't exist. But it does for him. He hears it every night. When I first moved here, on my first uh, night after the house quieted down, I was actually taken aback at how loud the hum was. The worldwide hum is usually described as a low-pitched rumble, like a car or truck engine idling nearby, with electronics pulsing. This is a simulation. Uh, we'll be finding out soon enough whether or not the world hum is as prevalent in Asia as it is in the English-speaking world. Now, after four years, his worldwide hum and database project has found nearly 13,000 people on five continents who've emailed to say they're hearing something. The number's too large, McPherson says, to dismiss as hysteria, delusion, or belief in the supernatural. Given that people arrive at this um, independently, and now looking at the hum map and looking at the distribution of, of um, the geographic distribution and the distribution in age and gender, what these people are reporting is, um, is something that is uh, certainly uh, real for them. This paper from the University of Oklahoma 12 years ago links the sound to a U.S. military program that uses VLF, very low frequency radio, and aircraft to communicate with nuclear submarines underwater. It's the first of four explanations that Glenn is pursuing. Second, the hum is the grand accumulation of human activity at low frequency sound and infrasound. Um, third, that the hum is a terrestrial geological phenomenon. And fourth, um, the hum might well be an internally generated phenomenon by the body. Let's just throw this off. Using a specially built steel box that's supposed to block radio waves, Glenn wants to eliminate all outside sources for the sound. Yet so far the hum is still there, even inside the box. That means new approaches and trying different technology, trying to, as he puts it, give himself and thousands of others around the world the quiet life they deserve. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, on Canada's Pacific Coast.